This video is going to be some extra practice on finding the percent of a quantity. First, we're going to start off with finding the percent of a number. So we have 35% of 500. So you want to rewrite your problem. So 35% is 35 out of 100. Of means multiplication. And then 500 over 1. Check to see if you can cross simplify, and in this problem we can. So we can divide 100 by 100 and get 1. And then we can do 500 divided by 100 and get 5. So now since we can't cross simplify any further, we're going to multiply right across. We can do 35 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. So we end up with a numerator of 175, then 1 times 1 is 1, which equals 175. So 35% of 500 is 175. Let's try another example. 15% of 12. First you want to rewrite it as a fraction. So we have 15 over 100, because percents are always out of 100. Of means multiplication and then 12 over 1. Check to see if you can cross simplify, and we can. We can divide both 12 and 100 by 2. We would get 6 and 50. So now we have 6 and 50, and we can actually divide again by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 50 divided by 2 is 25. Since we can't simplify any further, we're going to multiply right across. 15 times 3 is 45, and 25 times 1 is 25. We want to simplify our answer. So we can do 45 divided by 25, dot, dot, 0, 0. 25 goes into 45 once. With 20 left over, bring down the zero, 25 goes into 208 times. 25 times 8 equals 200. Subtract and you get zero. Bring down our last zero, 25 goes into zero, zero times. So our answer is 1 and 80 hundredths or 1 and 8 tenths. So 15% of 12 would equal 1.8. Okay, let's do one more example together before we practice on our own. So 45% of 360. First, we want to rewrite our percent as a fraction. So 45 over 100, since percents are always out of 100. Of means multiplication. And then 360 over 1, since it's a whole number. Check to see if you can cross simplify, and we can. We can divide both 100 and 360 by 20. So 100 divided by 20 is 5. Then 360 divided by 20 is 18. Now since we're done simplifying, we can multiply right across. So 45 times 18. Eight times five is 40. Eight times three is 32 plus four is 36. Zero to hold our place. One times five is five, and then one times four is four. Zero, 11, seven plus one is eight. So 810 is our numerator. Then five times one is five. We wanna simplify, so we have to do 810 divided by five. Five goes into eight one time. Subtract and you get three. Bring down the one. Five goes into 31 six times, which is 30. Subtract and you get one. Bring down the last zero. Five goes into 10 two times. So 810 divided by five equals 162. 
45% of 360 is 162. Now pause the video and try these four practice problems on your own. Okay, let's go over the first one. So remember the first step is to write it as a fraction, so 35% would be written as 35 over 100. Of means multiplication, and then we have 900 over 1, since 900 is a whole number. Check to see if you can simplify, and we could divide both 100 and 900 by 100. So 100 divided by 100 is 1. 900 divided by 100 is 9. Multiply across 35 times 9 would be 315, and 1 times 1 is 1. Simplify, and you get 315. So 35% of 900 is 315. For the second problem, we have 115% of 360. So first you want to write it as a fraction, so 115 over 100 times 360 over 1. Check to see if you can cross simplify. You could divide both 100 and 360 by 20. So 100 divided by 20 is 5 and 360 divided by 20 is 18. We're, since we're done simplifying we can multiply right across. So we have 115 times 18 and you would get 2000 70. Then 5 times 1 is 5. We need to simplify, so we're going to do 2070 divided by 5. 5 cannot go into 2. 5 goes into 20 4 times, which is 20. Subtract and you get 0. Bring down the 7. 5 goes into 7 1 time. Subtract and you get 2. Bring down the 0. 5 goes into 20 four times, which would equal 20. So our answer would be 414. Now we have 82% of 450. So first we're going to write it as a fraction, 82 over 100 times 450 over 1. Check to see if you can cross simplify. We can divide both 100 and 450 by 50. 100 divided by 50 is 2. 450 divided by 50 is 9. Now we can multiply across. So we have 82 times 9. Is 738. 2 times 1 is 2. We need to divide to simplify. So we have 738 divided by 2. 2 goes into 7 3 times, which is 6. Subtract and you get 1. Bring down the 3. 2 goes into 13 6 times, which is 12. Subtract and you get 1. Bring down the 8. 2 goes into 18 9 times, which would give us 18. So our answer is 369. For our last problem, we have 170% of 2,100. So write them as a fraction, so 170 over 100 times 2,100 over 1. Cross simplify, you could divide both 100 and 2,100 by 100. So 100 divided by 100 is 1. Then 2,100 divided by 100 is 21. Now we can multiply across. So we have 170 times 21, and you get 3,570. 1 times 1 is 1, so that simplifies to 3,570. Okay, now we're going to practice finding the whole amount. So it says 15% of a number is 180. Find the number. So 15% of a number is 180, so we know 15% is equal to 180. So first we want to find 1%. Now we will take 180 and divide it by the 15%.
percent dot dot zero zero. Fifteen goes into eighteen one time. Subtract and you get three. Bring down the zero. Fifteen goes into thirty two times, which is thirty. Bring down the zero. Fifteen goes into zero zero times. Bring down our last zero. Fifteen goes into zero zero times. So our one percent is equal to 12. But we're looking for 100%. We're looking for the whole amount. So 100%, we would take our 1% and multiply it by 100. 1, 2. So we would get 1,200. Okay, let's try another example. 40% of a number is 180. So we know, find the number. So we know 40% is equal to 180. We can find 1% by dividing the 180 by the 40%. Dot, dot, zero, zero. 40 can't go into 1. It can't go into 18, but it can go into 180. So 40 goes into 180 four times, which would equal 160. Subtract and you get 20. Bring down a zero. 40 goes into 20, I mean, I'm sorry, 200, five times, which would be 200. Subtract and you get zero. Bring down our last zero. 40 goes into zero, zero times. So our 1% would be four and 50 hundredths. But since we're lo looking for the whole, that means we're looking for the 100%. We need to multiply the 4 and 50 hundredths by 100. 1, 2. So our answer would be 450. So 40% 40 of 450 is 180. Okay, now pause the video and try these four practice problems on your own. Okay, let's go over the first one. 25% of some number is 195. So we know that 25% is equal to 195. We can find 1% by dividing the 195 by the 25%. Dot, dot, zero, zero. 25 cannot go into one. It cannot go into 19 but it can go into 195. Goes in seven times. 25 times seven is 175. When you subtract, you get 20. Bring down the zero. 25 goes into 200 eight times, which is 200. Subtract and you get zero. Bring down our last zero, 25 goes into zero, zero times. So now that we have our 1%, we can find our 100%, our whole, by multiplying by 100. 1, 2, 780. So 25% of 780 is 195. For the second example, we're looking for 56% of some number is 70. So we know that 56% is 70. We can find 1% by dividing 70 by our 56%, dot, dot, zero, zero. 56 cannot go into 7, but it can go into 70 once. Subtract. 70 minus 56 would give us 14. Bring down the zero. 56 goes into 140 two times, which would equal 112. 140 minus 112 would be 28. Bring down the zero. 56 goes into 280. 
five times. So now we found our 1% is 1.25, but we're looking for our whole, our 100%. So we need to multiply our 1% by 100. 1, 2, 125. So 56% of 125 is 70. For the third practice problem, we have 22% of a number is 44. So we know that 22% is equal to 44. We can find our 1% by dividing 44 by 22% dot dot zero zero. 22 goes into 44 two times, which equals 44. Subtract and you get zero. Bring down the zero. 22% 22 goes into 0, 0 times. Bring down our last 0. 22 goes into 0, 0 times. So our 1% is 2.00. But again, we're looking for our whole, so that's 100%. Multiply our 1% 1 by 100. 1, 2, it equals 200. So 22% of 200 is equal to 44. Okay, for our last problem, we have 125% of a number is 65. Find the number. We know that 125% is equal to 65. We can find the 1% by taking 65 and dividing it by the 125%. Now, our percent always goes on the outside of the house, so we always have to remember, even though 125 is bigger than 65, it's still going go, gonna to go on the outside of the house. So do dot, dot, zero, zero. 125 cannot go into 6. Cannot go into 5, but it can go into 650. So 125 goes into 650 five times. So 125 times 5 equals 625. Subtract and you get 25. Bring down the last zero. 125 goes into 250 two times. So we found our 1%, which is 0 0.52. But we're looking for the whole, so we're looking for 100%. So we'll take our 1% and we'll multiply it by 100. 1, 2 equals 52. So 125% of a number, which is 52, is 65.